Uber and Lyft, rideshare driving, one of the most dangerous professions in the country. Is it so? What up, folks? Once again, it is your boy, Tim, with another ride-sharing video. I want to run this one by you because there are some tough-ass Uber and Lyft drivers out there. Some folks out there that can look drama in the face and take the next trip. Nevertheless, I want you guys to take the advice that I often give. Yes, you're looking at an individual that looks like me. What do I say all the time? Discriminate, discriminate, discriminate. If you believe that will help your safety. I'm going to give you a video of an Uber driver that I strongly believe could benefit from learning to discriminate. An Uber driver is counting his blessings tonight after he found himself in the midst of gunfire in Brockton. That driver was dropping off a rider when he was grazed by one of those bullets. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. I could have been killed there because the guy was shooting at us. This Uber driver, who does not want to be identified, is thankful to be alive after he says he was shot while dropping off a passenger on Ford Street in Brockton Saturday morning. I picked the guy up from a location and I was going to drop him off to a second location. And when we got there, somebody started shooting at us. And um, I got like four different, four shots, it's on four or five shots. The driver says he sustained a serious injury to his hand. You can see how the bullets shattered his back window and flattened his rear tire. The driver said he immediately sped off with his passenger, who he says was not injured. I feel very lucky because I could have been killed right there. He's been an Uber driver for the past four years and plans to remain one, but refuses to do any type of rideshare calls in Brockton. There's not much we can do because we don't know who we are picking up. Like, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Uber does a like, background check to the driver, but they don't do it to the riders. So that's a disadvantage that we have. We, we don't know. We don't know. Our safety, it's, it's not that, you know, great. Police are still investigating the shooting. The Uber driver says he will be okay. In Brockton, on Paul Burton, WBZ News. Four-year driver shot up his shit, lost his wheels, lost his back window, shot off his damn finger or whatever the hell may be, or tried to shoot his finger off. And his first response is, I'm going to get up and do this shit again. Like I said, there's some tough-ass Uber drivers out there. A lot of folks would be like, shit, that's it. I'm going to work in a factory. I can learn to make a whopper as opposed to dealing with this bullshit. But this driver... No, I can take a few more trips. So shout out to this man who looked death in the face and decided to log back into the app. That's not going to be your boy. But anyhow, notice what he stated in the video. Uber and Lyft does background checks on the driver, but they don't do shit in regards to the passengers. Why is that? How can you say any more clearly that you don't give a fuck about your drivers to do something like that? I'm doing video after video to the point where I can't even keep up of how much drama rideshare drivers are going through. And this is not just happening to us in America. This shit is happening around the world, folks. And these companies are not doing a hell of a lot to reduce our misery. Such as what this gentleman clearly stated. Just do a background check on who the hell you putting in their car. That's a very simple, something very simple they could do to help us be safer. They're not even doing a bare minimum. This man got shot up. Now, fortunately, this guy looks like he's going to do exactly what yours truly just advised. Discriminate. You hear him saying, I'm not going back to Brockton. The motherfucker's crazy. So he understands that Brockton, whatever suburb that is, is off limits to the boy. Now, I get it. And I don't know what you can really do in this case. Although I am a strong advocate of carrying a firearm or at the very least a knife or some form of blade in your vehicle for personal protection. Ain't shit you can do when you drive into a damn ambush. I mean, he sounds like he just drove into an ambush. The problem is, without any sort of background check on our passengers, we can easily pick up drama, pick up folks that are wanted, folks that have ops on the street. And all of a sudden you show up with them in your car and if their opposition wants to take them out, you're right in the middle of it. That's what sounds like happened in this case. Now, 
In the beginning, I thought it could be a story where he drove through, a, through a, the wrong neighborhood and maybe another gun battle or some shit was taking place and he just unfortunately got caught in the middle of it. But when you see how many rounds his vehicle took, it's pretty clear they were deliberately aiming at him. So Brockton is off limits for this gentleman. Shout out to the fact that he's still around, but I don't know if I would get back up from that shit and say that Uber and Lyft is what I'm going to continue doing. That's just outrageous that for what we're getting paid, this is part of the job description. So what do you think? Most dangerous profession? You think we're, we think we're in the rankings? Yours truly, I'm starting to think so because we encounter a lot of stuff that other professions do not encounter. Like, for instance, if you take on the fact that being a law enforcement officer is a dangerous position. There's no denying it's dangerous to be a cop. But they face folks trying to harm them, that, harm them that want to be free. So some folks do ambush police. But they're not getting robbed, carjacked, and all these other type of violent crimes. It's generally somebody that is trying to flee and trying to literally kill the cop. We deal with killers, but we also deal with robbers. We deal with rapists. We deal with a hell of a lot. You don't hear about a cop getting raped. That just doesn't happen. Happens to Uber and Lyft drivers. You don't hear about a cop getting carjacked. Happens to us all the time. Getting robbed, getting kidnapped. Nobody's going to kidnap a fucking cop. They kidnap Uber and Lyft drivers all the time. So is it the most dangerous profession in the country? I'm not here to say yay or nay, but I would have to assume it is in the running. But before I let you folks go, as always, discriminate. I'm just going to tell you that is probably one of your biggest weapons to avoid stuff like this. If you don't feel safe in a certain neighborhood, picking up a certain type of person, driving and during certain hours, don't do it. And don't let anyone tell you you are wrong for doing what you believe is in your best interest. Because at the end of the day, all of this is going to fall on you. All of the deaths and robberies and getting your hand shot off and all of this shit you got to deal with that now looking at this gentleman getting shot up his car and all how much of that you think uber is going to be there to help this man with probably none of it probably none of it and because the shooting did not even come from his passenger they're going to wipe their hands clean of it you just drove through some bullshit take that up with police let us know when you got the car fixed again so we can help you log back into the app. It's your boy, Tim. Subscribe to the damn channel. And I'll see you in the next video.